Good morning, guys. Wait, hold on. Okay, we're back. Um, good morning, guys. Today is Mira and I's one year anniversary. We've been together a whole year. It's crazy. I know. Um, but I decided. Oh, that's him texting me right now. Let's see what he said. <laughs> um, uh, what was I getting to? Oh, I had an interview this morning. It really. It went really well. I'm so excited. Sorry, today I'm like spazzed out. It went really well. Um, but Merritt and I's one year anniversary is today and we're going out to dinner. He said black or blue long dress. I have one more place I can go to try and find it. It does have to be a long one, so I'm kind of struggling. I have this dress. I thought about like, I feel like I could get away with it. I just have to, I have to do a lot of sewing today. I'm like, can I get a, can I get that done in time, you know? Is there a zipper on it? No. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Okay, sorry. Sorry. And there's an egg scarf. Um, but I have picked up some little things and I think I'm gonna get us a cake. I was like debating making a pie, like a lemon meringue pie, but I think I'm gonna get us a cake. I haven't decided yet. I'm so excited, if you can't tell. Like, I'm so proud of us. And I just, I love my boyfriend so much. I admire him. He's my best friend. He always has the best perspective on things when, like, I'm questioning myself. And I just, I'm so happy I get to celebrate spending one year with him. I showered because I was disgusting and cleaned up a little bit in my kitchen. And now I'm going to run, I have a Target order place, but I think I'm going to go to Harris Teeter and try and find a cake. So we're going to go do that together. I hope you can see this dress. I might have to walk all the way back here. But this is what we're working with. I think I'm just going to sew it for dinner. I can't, I really feel like it would be better strapless, but I just love how it like cuts in the back. I know so many people are gonna hate on the pattern of this too, but I love this dress. I covered myself in fake tan too, so. When I'm bronze at dinner, I don't need to say anything. My armpit just looked weird like that. Oh, look at this bug bite, y'all. Okay, I'm taking a break. I have a girl coming to try on this dress. Hopefully she'll buy it, it'll fit. But I have gotten one side of this neckline undone, I have decided I'm gonna make it a strapless. So hopefully, hopefully I can get it done in time. <laughs> Cause I'm stressing out since I decided to do this at 11.30 of all times. But I've got to skedaddle on down so she can try it on and hopefully take it off my hands. Okay, Slay, I just sold that dress. <laughs> so, oh I profited off of that dress too by $40. Stay thrifting. Okay guys, since the last time we talked, I went to Hobby Lobby and got a zipper for my dress. So hopefully I'll get that going tonight. I met my mom to help put gas in her car because she had a doctor's appointment this morning. And I picked up a Harris Teeter grocery order for the people I'm helping. And now I'm waiting to pick up my kid from school. After this, after I get her, I have to go to Target and like pick up some stuff. I still don't have a dessert for Merritt and I, so I don't know what I'll conjure up. We'll see. My hair is like still wet, but it's okay. I'll fix it. I'm gonna give myself a blowout so it'll look all cute and pretty for dinner. I know we're going to see Deadpool tonight too. I'm so excited. I can't wait. It's gonna be good. Like, I've already seen clips of it. Don't tell Mira I've seen clips. I feel like he would find out I've watched like one fourth of this movie and refused to go. So, like, nobody tell Mira. <laughs> nobody tell him. It's a, it's a negative version of what I have always. Okay. Um, finished sewing my little dress. It is now strapless, but I left the straps on on the inside of it. So, like, if I want to make it back into a dress with straps one day like i can do that i am about to get ready i just showered and like cleaned up a little bit but i've got to do my hair and my makeup and it's currently 4 45 and merit said he would be here between 5 45 and 6. so i've got to get a roll on it <laughs> i've got to get going i've got to get moving and i've got to stop talking to y'all but before i do let me tell you 
Today, I had to go downtown for school pickup like I normally do, okay? And one, a lady ran out in the road, and I literally had to slam on brakes, okay? The car behind me had to slam on brakes. Like, we're in traffic, okay? Runs out in the road, slams on brakes, and she, I'm like, go ahead. Like, I mean, you just stopped all of traffic because you ran out into the middle of the road, and she's not on a crosswalk or anything, and she's like fine with crossing and then all of a sudden she's like there's a crosswalk back there you shouldn't have even been going that fast like you should have been watching for pedestrians there's a crosswalk and I'm like I'm four car lengths away from the crosswalk like I'm I made it through the crosswalk I wasn't worried about people stepping out in front of my car and then I have to park in this parking lot that is not painted okay and a police officer shows up and he's like, ma'am, you're not in a parking spot. You have to move your car. You can't park here. And I'm like, I'm parked in line with the rest of the cars. And he's like, no, these three cars got to move. So then there were no parking spots because he did show up at 212 and my kid got out of school at 215. I was like, I hate downtown Raleigh. I never want to come here. I'm over this. So then I came home to de-stress. Oh, I picked up a cake, which I have a clip of, and some little Prosecco for dessert. And I got us a little candle to go in the cake. I got us a one candle to go in the cake. But yeah, now I've got to get ready, so I'll talk to you later. <laughs> okay, guys, here's my outfit. Okay, it's maxi. I didn't take any of the bottom off, and I'm obsessed. Also, I set this up from Merit Comes In. It's his little gift and a cake. There's a candle in it. You might not be able to see it, but there's a one and some Prosecco because that's our favorite. Bow. Right? Oh, pure entertainment. This is so funny. Getting some uh, coal in the, in the cake here. It's okay. It'll taste fine. It's a good topping for sure. Yay! Yay! Oh, fuck! <laughs> okay. To end this vlog, because I didn't really tell y'all bye last night. We just kind of like did our own thing. I've come up with 10 questions to ask Merit to see what his response is. All right. Are you nervous? No. You ready? Mm hmm. Look, we can. We can make it taller. We can profit on that. <laughs> profit on what? I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm not talking about it. Um, okay. You ready for your first question? Okay. Okay. How long have we been together? <laughs> how long have we been together? <laughs> you know there's two answers to that question. Okay. Well, I would like to hear the answer I want to hear. <laughs> The answer that you want to hear. Mm -hmm. One year and one day. Thank you. How long did you want to say we've been together though? One year and about two weeks or three weeks. <laughs> Do you want to tell them why? Oh, you can. Um, one day I like slipped up and. This was before our first date. No, it was after our first date. After our first date. There you go. After our first official first date, let's rephrase it. Because you had come over and hung out with me before, but I kicked you out. Mm hmm <laughs> yeah. Um, and I like made a joke and I was like, so how does it feel to be dating a cougar? And I think I was watching a TikTok and I like didn't even have time to think or something. And I said that, you have chocolate right here. Yep, and then I was like, oh, so we're dating now. And then I was like, I mean, we were dating, but then I was like, oh, fuck. Like, I don't want to say that out loud. Yeah, so. she played herself. I did. I, <laughs> I did play myself. Okay, where do we live? Oh, you got some chocolate going on, too. There you go. I had a mustache with my chocolate. That was on your lip. Okay. Where do we live? Yeah. Probably. Okay. In one year, what is one thing you think we will have accomplished? In one more year? Yeah, like in this upcoming year, what's one thing you think we'll accomplish together? Like by next August. Mm -hmm. A camper. A camper. I agree. A camper. What have you learned from our relationship this past year? These are some good questions. Thank you. 
they kind of go down but i was like trying to make it so like i could ask you these every year we've been together but they kind of go downhill in a little bit I what have i learned in one year of dating yeah what have you learned from our relationship this past year do you want me to go no hmm i think that i've learned what true love really is and to be there for someone else not for your own needs but for your for theirs does that make sense it does and to really like i really feel like i don't know it's almost like what you want and what you need is just like a second nature and to me like i don't even have to think about it does that make sense it does i feel like mine kind of plays into that actually and i hadn't i've not experienced that before well, I feel like when you meet, like mine is that like I met my person and it feels different and like I feel reassured. Like I choose to think of you, like I don't, like I don't like feel like an obligation, like I choose to think of you like with my actions. Right. And like you... I don't know, like I just know when I do stuff, like you'll be my number one person behind me. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I've just wanted that when you like really meet your person, like the reassurance that comes with it and the confidence. The reassurance in yourself? I think it's in yourself, but like in your actions, because I feel like we very much like live, I mean, we are individuals, but we very much like live as a couple, if that makes sense. Mm hmm like our actions as our individual selves like we know will affect the relationship right so i feel like i mean if you're always thinking of the other person then like you obviously want reassurance so what you're doing isn't going to be like a screw up you right. know and yeah. like affect your relationship yeah okay you ready for the next question okay how many kids do you want right now on the dot right now first number first number three Okay. What do you think mine is? Four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, when do you think we'll get married? Ballpark year. Can I get a date? What's today's date? Today is the 10th. What year is it? 24? Yeah. Um, I'd say 27 or 28. So you would have to propose in 26 or 27? Yeah. <laughs> Family friendly. Um, I already said fuck. Alright, okay. propose in 26 or 27. No, 27 or 28. Propose then. Okay. Yeah, so when I say, like when you say married, I think propose. So Obviously that's two different things, but okay. you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, so that would, a year from 27 or 28. So 28 or 29. I was going to say 2030. 2030? Yeah, just because I like the number. Okay. But I would be good with 29. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not 28. 28's okay, but 29, like it's got the nine. You know how I like threes to be there somewhere. Okay. What is your favorite thing that I cook? What is my favorite thing that you cook? Yeah. Um. Well, to be honest, it's hard to answer because you don't ever cook the same thing twice. So. Well, what's your favorite say... thing that I have cooked then? Um, probably, well, remember I told you about slick dumplings? What was that? Chicken and pastry? Yeah, that was good. I made chicken that and- That wasn't, that wasn't the best though. What was the one that you made? I've made sweet potato fajitas and you liked those. No, there's one I'm after. I, I made a pasta dish one time with tomatoes no. and cheese. I'm pretty sure you cooked, it was when you got the zucchini. Oh, was it with the chicken? I did like a one sheet. Like yes, one? that one. Okay. Yeah, there you go. When do you think we will get a dog? Mm, mm, next year or the following. Mm. What is one thing you would change for the better of our relationship? What is one thing that I would change for the better? Mm -hmm. In terms of what? Anything. Anything. Like, I can tell you what mine is. Okay, what is yours? Mine is that I have a raging cell phone addiction. And I've like recently noticed that like I'm like almost addicted to the motion of like picking my phone up. Mm -hmm. 
and looking at it and I'm like trying to do better about that. So I feel like one thing I would do better is to try to be present in life and obviously I like to create on social media but almost just set like a limit of how much I'm actually on it and then create and then just be off of it. Because I admire you for not being on it quite a bit. But that doesn't really play into our relationship. But it does. Like, think about it. If I'm always on my phone. Um. I saved money for our wedding. <laughs> I'll start doing that. I buy us a KitchenAid. <laughs> this is one thing I would change. It can be anything. I, I, would, I wouldn't say anything because I think that problems are, aren't necessarily bad. Yeah. Because it gives us... A conversation. A, well, a conversation, and it gives us an opportunity to work on something. Yeah. And it gives us something to work towards. Because if we just had it perfect all the time, then, like... It wouldn't really be, like... It wouldn't be... A relationship, I feel like. No, because I feel like a relationship is something that you build. Yeah, and we wouldn't be, like, growing. And create. Yeah. Yeah. If you can't tell, Mira and I like to be philosophical with one another. Slightly. <laughs> this is interesting. Have you enjoyed this? I have actually, yeah. What if I just like start making 10 questions a week? I would love that. Okay. On a scale from 1 to 10, how funny was Macy this year? How funny was Macy? You almost giggled when I read that, so I get some points for that one. Uh, Were you I'll give you a, a solid, solid 2.5. <laughs> I was thinking the way you were saying solid, I was like, yeah, I'm getting a seven. I'm getting a seven. That's less than my rating the other night. Oh my gosh. I'll give you a four. I'll give you a four. <laughs> was that the last question? Yeah. What a way to end it. <laughs> Crush my dreams. Ah. Well, you know, you've got to become funnier when you become a dad. Because she said, yeah. <laughs> yeah, humbled. Huh? Humble. That's not what I was thinking, no. Oh, what I said the other night? No, I just thought of something funny. Okay, tell me. That you, you like to stay up thinking about what you're going to say? I do <laughs> not. You made that up. That's betrayal at its finest straight, ladies and gentlemen. No, that's actually funny. That is not funny. That is very funny. It's not funny because you made it up and it's not true. Why are you laughing then? <laughs> because I'm getting like aggressively defensive right now. Because you're such a liar. I'm not lying. You are. I'm not. You are. I had the best comeback one day and he was like, yeah, I bet you stayed up thinking about that. And I was like, no, I didn't. I was like, when would I have even known we were going to have this conversation? And he thought it was the joke of the century. Both eyes open under the sleep mat. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why don't you go wrap that around your head and see if you can open your eyes and how it feels. Oh, that's funny. No. The other day we were talking and I was like, give me a percentage of like how funny I am. Isn't that what I said? Something like that? Something like that, yeah. And, and I gave you a good rating. Mira goes, 40%. And I was like, I'll take it, sold! <laughs> I was like, yes! And he was like, you're, you're accepting that? And I was like, yeah, it's close to 50. No, you said that's more than I thought I would get. Yeah, well, I didn't think I could like argue my way up either, so. No. Yeah, it's just, I would take the 40. Next year, I'm gonna answer with a 41%. That would be funny. That wouldn't be funny. It would. You're gonna propose and be like, so how funny am I? I'll be like 29%. And I'll be like, and no, I will not accept the story. <laughs> okay. What if I was really funny and I proposed to you before you proposed to me? I would say no. I knew that. Yeah. You told me that. Yeah. What if I start fake proposing to you in public? Okay. What would you do? Would you just tell me no a bunch of times? I think... I would... Yeah, I would say no, but I would come up with a creative way to say no. Hmm. Hmm. I'm intrigued. You're intrigued. I'm intrigued. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, do you have any questions? Off the top of your head? I didn't really ask you to prepare any. What food can be used to create dynamite? I don't know. Peanuts. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I would not have answered that. 
Um, what were you gonna say, like a chili pepper? I'm trying to think. Look, I've got some really good facts right now. I asked you last night at dinner, I said what was something that you enjoyed about our relationship? Yeah. Mm. Dating my best friend. Um, what is a goal that you want to accomplish in a year? Mm, what if I'm like, pay off my car? <laughs> um, I think it would be nice to have the camper and if we're gonna like demo it in any way, like redo part of it, like have that done. So the camper? Yeah. Okay. Let's like just go in on the camper. Okay. Maybe I'll get a dog in a year. I'll get us a dog. Name it Bo. I need to be out of school. Name it Bo. Name it Tom. Little T. Oh my god, can we please name our dog Little T? No. So then I'd be like, Little T, come here! No. You know, if we named our dog Little T, he would be like infatuated with it. Who? Little Tom. He would either be like highly that would, offended. That would, give his, that would give his ego a <laughs> steroid injection. He would either be like highly offended and act like he hated it, but no, in he, reality no, he would he, love he it. He would torment me with it is what he would do. Or he would like... Because that's what I would do. He would literally be like obsessed with it. So what are you going to do when Carson and Allison name their kid after you? Mmm. <laughs> Okay, for the end of this video, I just want to let you all know that we do have baby names picked out, and they're amazing. And we kind of copy the initials for a couple of them, and I just think they're so perfect. Anyways, that's all. That's the end. Thanks for celebrating one year with us. Hope you enjoyed our commentary. Maybe we'll be back. I like this 10 questions a week. I love that idea. 